back to work on what now is probably my most favorite scooter I have, the Phantom F12. Horizontal Minarelli and uh, straight ripper. As you saw last time, we got this thing running a whole lot better than it ever has. Uh, we had a lot of issues with kind of getting this thing on a base setup and uh, swap the carbs over from a CP19 to a CP21, open this baby up a little bit, and now we have some action going. So we still have what we didn't install last time, which is the clutch, stage six adjustable clutch, and a new contra spring there. So still have that stuff to put in, but since we got a little bit more riding in on the last time, um, I'm gonna check the plug right now and see what we're looking at. I wanted to do just a couple straight runs, check the plug, but I ended up just doing a bunch of wheelies. So. I didn't get to uh, get it super accurate, but we'll see what the plug's looking like, get a general idea. I'm still thinking this thing's running a little rich, and we will find out right now. It's going to be hard for it to focus on there. Plug looks good there, but it looks a little rich on the tip. That, tri that tip you'd want like a cocoa brown. As you can see, it looks a little wet. I still say we're running a little bit rich. Here, you can see the max temp we got was 304. We were doing a lot of pulls. So if we're barely declaring 300 on an air-cooled, uh, we have a lot more room to lean it out. Like, All right, you've seen this a million times, but we're just gonna pull the good old cover off real quick. And then uh, get to work on everything. And that belt fit in the back is terrible. We wore that belt down or something. Look how terrible that belt fit is in the back. Oh man, that's a lot of our issue right there. Look how soft this contra is. I can just like squeeze it all the way by my hands. Just no problems. Just easy. All right, <clears throat> new clutch spring, old one. Old one's way soft. This one's a lot more stiff. All right, here we got the stage six clutch. It's kind of crazy how this one works, but uh, adjustable clutch, as you see in here, the springs have these little tensioners that you could tighten from right here, pulling the spring a little tighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. These are the white springs, so they're like way softer. I'm gonna try with these ones first, a little bit tightened up. And then worst comes to worst, we have this other set of springs right in here that we can try out. And then these little weights too, I think they'll sit somewhere in here and it helps when the three puck clutch like springs open. It's like a little bit of heavier little brass weights I believe. See now with the new setup, I can't even open the pulley. Barely man, that's a stiff one now. Like I said, these clutch springs might be a little too soft. These are the softer ones, but we'll try it. Two case contra spring in there. Stage six ones, I got them like almost maxed out, tightened. Um, we'll see. I'm worried about this belt fitment now, so I'm gonna try to do what I can to make it fit a little better. She's looking nice all in there. You see it all in there. All right, time to throw the cover on. Open this pulley back up in the rear. But we still got room to improve. I literally don't have any more room for shims up front, so I think we need a different size belt, honestly. A little bit of a longer belt to make this work. I don't expect too much of a crazy change because I still have a soft clutch set up right now. But I want to feel if it grabs a little better and how it shifts with the stiffer Contra in it. It's revving to the moon and going nowhere now. It's got a lot more bottom end though. Now it feels super different. Yeah, it definitely wants heavier rollers now. Still, still dead bottom end right there though. Oh yeah, it's revving too much. It just hit 12.5 right there. And it's going nowhere. We gotta up the rollers. All right, went from 24 grams total to 27 grams total. So I upped three of them by one gram. 
Let's see if it makes a difference. Uh, that thing was way too light. It was revving in the moon. It's also not going up on the pulley, so it's kind of a weird spot right now. So just now we hit almost 12.5 max RPM. That's the highest I've seen. Temp still is at that. It never passed the 304 mark. We're, we're getting a lot of rev out of the bike, but it's not how I want it to be revved. We're losing all top end right now. It's just revving to the moon. So still got a lot of tuning to do on this thing. I got a lot of messing around to do on this, but I'm thinking the front variator is not letting the belt ride up it enough, so it's not having a good shift. And I don't know if it's because the contour in the rear is too stiff, where it's not letting that pulley open up and letting the belt go down long enough, or do we need a longer belt now? The belt is short, no matter what I do, even if it has full room in the front, it doesn't sit high enough in the back, so it's a little short. <laughs> Still revving them too high. I think we need to put those stiffer clutch springs in. Alright, so it's so hard to get my camera to focus on there. As you can see, we're still looking a little wet on the tip. We got a little cocoa brown going on inside the plug itself down there. Inside the plug down there itself, you can see a little bit of cocoa brown. But overall, we're still looking like we're a little bit rich. Still down jetted a little bit, or just leaning out on the carb a little bit more. And uh, other than that, I think carb-wise, we got a decent setup. We just need to work on the actual um, CVT setup now. The actual tuning part of it. So, um, gonna throw this plug back in. We're looking pretty good on that. I'll mess with the carb a little bit. Time to go back in here and we're gonna change the clutch springs now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put the stiffer clutch springs in. So, take all this bad boy apart, pull the clutch out, and then we'll, uh, we'll do that. So, it only comes with an orange option, which is like medium, and then the white option, which is like the softest. Uh, we don't really have another option because I thought I had. More springs, but I don't. Some other white ones, some Naruku ones that are way too big, and then these red ones, but they're GY6 ones, and they're a little too long. But I dug through my whole box of just random, like, miscellaneous parts and stuff like that. <clears throat> Although I did find another belt that we could try using. So I already tried this S23 belt, which is pretty good, but like I said, I think we need a little bit longer of a belt. Here I found a top belt um, that looks like it's a tiny bit longer. Might be too long. That's my only worry, but it is a little longer. It's hard to do one-handed right now. So at least swap to these orange ones, and I might run a couple of these weights inside of here. I'll show you once I take it apart, but inside this flange, you actually put the weights in on this clutch lever. When you actually open up the shoe back here, you can see that there's like these little grooves the weights will slide into. That's adding in a total seven grams of power when it flings out, when you think about it, so. I'm curious how it's going to feel. I feel like it's going to be aggressive and I'm going to like it. Hopefully it'll help with the softer springs I have to run. But uh... Now that sounds like it's grabbing the clutch now. Oh yeah, we gotta test that out, boys. I still feel like now it's revving too much, so we can up the rollers now. We got a whole different bike right now. This is a whole different beast right now, boys. But does that thing sound happy on the bottom end now? So I think what was happening was before, it was hard to tune the car because the clutch was engaging so instantly that it was putting load on the bike before the motor even builds up. Because you kind of want the bike to get into the power band, so when the clutch engages, it has like a, it's in the sweet spot, you know? So the clutch was engaging a little too early, which it was hitting the bike under load too early, and the bike would bog out. So with that clutch set up now, I feel like now I can tune the bikes how I normally do. Because normally I have a kind of aggressive clutch set up on my bikes. This is the only bike I've ever tried to run 
a stock clutch setup in. Stock clutch setup on the first two videos we did riding on this thing. I'm stoked right now because this bike's about to feel totally different, so. F12's feeling now, boys. See, it's got the good launch now. You seen that? Twelve hundred. It doesn't feel like it has any more to it. I still have that sharpie mark on the variator, so we're gonna see where it's hitting right now. Either up the rollers or change the belts now. All right. Given that there's already pieces of rubber all inside this motor when this thing was spotless when I swap belts and seeing this mark on the variator looks like the clutch I mean looks like the belt is slipping there I'm gonna go ahead and swap back to the other belt and uh, I'm gonna up the rollers a little bit and then we're gonna try it again changed back to the OEM belt because I feel like that's when it was happiest um, when we first were messing with it uh, and I just I'm gonna go back to there kind of get a better idea now with the new clutch setup and everything we're jumping out around a lot but we keep adding parts and taking away things so um well it was revving a lot last time i feel like i need to up the rollers i up the rollers another three grams so now we're six grams from where we started with the old setup up six grams at a weight of 30 now and then we have the stock belt back in so the stock belt doesn't sit as high in the rear pulley so it should take away from the bottom end Plus we added heavier rollers, so you would think the bottom end would change a lot, but I don't. I feel like those other belts just were not, were not too happy in this thing for some reason. I good for the wheelies but I feel like the stock belt does the best for the top end in it. None of the other belts were getting enough on the front pulley. This is how many shims I took out of the setup and it's still, it's just, it's all over the place. I've changed, I went through three different belts, I ran this many shims, I actually have more than this at one point, trying to rise the belt, the other belt all the way to the back of the pulley. I tried a bunch of things, but it's a pain. I just need to go to the lot and actually be able to like sit down, tune it, come back rather than having to do it in my garage, go back out, come back, so we'll do it. I almost feel like I could still up the weights though. Which is crazy to me because I always thought this setup liked light weights. But I'm at 30 grams right now. Well, we're kind of adding piece by piece on this scooter as you can tell. Like we didn't even put the new clutch in. We haven't changed the CVT since we built the motor itself. Now we're messing with the CVT. We did the suspension a little bit. We put the different shock on it. Um, and we're doing one thing at a time. Well, um, with it being concluded, as you can tell, how it shifts now. So it's getting the same top end, but now it's getting to the top end faster. Because of how the pulley shifts with the stiffer Contra, it's allowing it to use more of a lower gearing, if you will, because the it, the belt's lower in the front pulley, higher in the rear, which is like a lower gearing um, 
like kind of like a mountain bike if you think about it. So with the stiffer Contra, it's allowing it to be like that longer, so it carries out through the mile per hour. So we're just hitting our top speed a little bit faster, and then we hear it completely rev out. Although you can tell the roller weights are still light in this thing, and that's why it sounds like that, um, we're running out of gears basically. Um, before we had our pulley set up that would open because the Contra was so um, soft, it would open to full shift um, really early, which made it slow takeoff, but then it would like take longer to get to the top end, if you know what I'm saying. It doesn't have that initial torque. Um, it's kind of confusing unless you actually are thinking of how a CVT works and how it shifts. What I can do is I can up the rollers a little bit more, which I think I'm gonna do real quick, up it by another three grams, um, and go give it a try. But like I said, I think we're just completely running out of gears now. This is the same way what happens when you build a Honda Elite, when you put a 72 kit on it, crank and everything like that, like I did on this one. If you go watch those videos, I ran out of gearing once I built it like that. I don't remember what comes in stock. I want to say it's like 12 to 1. So now it's 8 to 1 gearing, so you're getting a lot more out of it. I don't know what comes stock in this one. There is a way to tell. We could take it off and we could try when we pull the side cover off and that'd be to spin the wheels and basically how many times how many times does your rear axle go around with the amount of times your wheel goes around. So your rear axle will probably go around nine times to as the wheel would go around once. So that's the ratio would be nine to one in here. I'm not saying that is it, but we will see here shortly. But um, I'm not exactly sure what it converts to, but the gear I'm gonna go to is 1442s, um, but they're gonna be straight cut gears, which are gonna be super loud and whiny when we're pinning it. I will post a before and after and show you guys the actual difference of the gears and, and how to swap the gears itself. So we're gonna go through that. I think that's gonna help us. Again, we're gonna have to like retune the scooter again a little bit. I'm gonna up the rollers real quick in the F12 one more time, up it up to 33 grams. We started off at 24, so we're gonna be officially up nine extra grams than we were before we changed the Contra and how this thing shifts. So we can also change how it shifts on my rear pulley because I have the NCY pulley. So we might be able to mess with that too. We got a lot. We got a lot to do still on this F12. This has definitely been one of my favorite projects now, and my favorite bikes. And uh, it just keeps getting better and better. So we're gonna spin this pulley and see how many times the wheel will go around. I'm doing this by using a marker. Looks like 13 exact. Actually, it's like 12. So it's a little less than 13 because the, the marking's over here now. So to get it directly where it was with the shock, it's like 12, 7 to 1. That is a, uh, that's, a, that's like almost like the stock Honda Elite. So we will be putting in the 1442s and we will see exactly what that ratio turns out to be because I'm really not sure on how to convert that. I'm sure there's a way, but we will just find that once we actually put it on. So. <laughs> better but still the same feeling it feels better off the punch but yeah top end we're still running out of gearing now boys it's just how it is it used to take so long to hit that but now it just hits it right away and just levels out Crazy, I upped it by six grams and it feels torquier. I feel like this scooter has taught me more on tuning than any other scooter I've had. So. Dude, we're doing 40 mile per hour wheelies right there when I sat down. We did a bunch with the F12 today and the last few weeks actually but uh we got a bunch done a whole lot better it looks like a solid lineup right now i think i'm <laughs> this guy's going nuts i think we're due for a project update on like all the bikes so uh i might film a little video doing that soon also don't want to show much yet but we got an engine right there from a new bike that we just picked up the other day so you'll see more on that soon as well make sure to like subscribe dude this dude the spaz right now that's gonna do it for this one if you like Subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.